U.S. Marines are bringing a ship killer to the Pacific. How are you going to keep the Chinese Navy bottled up inside, if not the first, the second island chain, says John Ferrari, a former Army two-star general and now a fellow at the American Enterprise Institute. A daunting task, for sure, but the United States Marine Corps whose slogan is, improvise, adapt, and overcome, have come up with an idea. And it's an idea that won't cost U.S. taxpayers a bloody fortune, because it uses existing weapon systems. It's called Mises, and it has apparently progressed from a simple idea at the Pentagon to a functional weapon on the shores of Hawaii in roughly two years' time, Breaking Defense reported. At its core, Mises is a combination of several proven capabilities, advantageous when budget time comes around in Congress, a key reason why the service has managed to bring it online so quickly. The weapon itself uses the anti-ship naval strike missile made by Norway's Kongsberg, a control system operated remotely, dubbed Rogue Fires, and the chassis of a joint light tactical vehicle. The missile is already in service with Norway's Navy and Poland's coastal defense squadrons. Marines can control the rogue fires with a game-like remote controller or command multiple launchers to autonomously follow behind a leader vehicle, according to a recent Marine Corps statement. The rogue fires vehicle, built on a joint light tactical vehicle platform, provides the Corps with a robust expeditionary system capable of operating anywhere. Ferrari added the Army has previously considered missile systems in the past that could be launched from ground to sea as well as ones that could be deployed from Navy ships. However, those weapons often either lacked the guidance systems necessary to hit moving targets at sea or were too large to fit the Marine Corps' desire for a highly mobile weapon. According to reports, a Marine unit at Camp Pendleton in California will receive Mises assets in October to put the weapon through its paces for the next two years.